Hello, it's Sunday the 8th of July 2018. Today has been a bit weird. I realised that my hair was getting just a bit hard for me to maintain because I was tr dislocating my shoulders trying to brush it and wash it. So I just got really fed up with it and asked my mum to just chop it all off. And um, she gave me this haircut and I think it's come out really cute. I mean, she doesn't know how to cut hair or anything. Um, so, yeah, I'm really pleased with it actually. And it's made my head feel a lot lighter. So, the scalpels that I ordered on the internet to try and cut my microdermal piercing out have arrived this afternoon. Here it is box of sterilised medical scalpels and once I got one of these out and had a look at it that really made me think how much this is going to hurt cutting my cheek open right next to my eye with that but I'm going to do it still I think it will be okay um, I would have already done it by now but I got a bit sidetracked because I was just sitting here looking at the fish tank and I saw this little baby fish swimming around that had managed to survive against the adults for a really long time. So it was a different colour to the, the fish babies I already had and I spent ages trying to catch it with a net, sort of leaning at all different angles trying to get it. And then when I went to get up, I realised that I couldn't really. My ankle was just like completely locked in one position and it was obviously dislocated and I couldn't even get my foot to go flat on the floor so that started a whole process of me and my mum trying to put the dislocation back just try it just I'll, I'll just I'll just let you pull, yeah, and then rotate. I'll try and relax the muscles. I'm trying pulling and rotating more. Do you think it's helped? <laughs> it's not. It hasn't really jumped back. No. It might be that the muscles are just holding it dislocated now. That does feel like where it would go back though. I can feel, you know, it's definitely the right way. Oh, actually that looks a bit more, I don't know, is it still? Hang on, let me try move it a bit and see if it's... You did it! I might have gone back. I just didn't hear a noise or anything. Look! Yeah. It's fixed. Yes. I mean, I think it's just swollen. Yeah. No, it looks normal now. It's sort of it's, back. It looks normal. It just looks swollen. Yeah. As soon as it went back, it was absolutely fine. I couldn't move it. I could barely move even the toes or the knee. It was that bad. But as soon as it went back, it was... I could walk on it again almost as if nothing happened. It just feels kind of like a twisted ankle now. And I'm really amazed by how well it worked, just putting it back. That's not always been my experience, as you probably know if you watch my video logs. <laughs> but I have to thank um, a lovely girl called Leah, who I met at UCL Hospital when I was going to the group information session, and she actually told me that when you're putting a dislocation back, first you need to pull pull it apart, like pull the, the two sides of the joint apart to, to get it to like open up from the place it's stuck in and then twist it in the opposite direction while pulling and so as soon as my mum did that it went back and I'm really really grateful to her, I could have spent all the evening in A&E which is completely not what I want, especially because I'm getting the keys to my new flat tomorrow. So I've got to get up early, got to get on a couple of buses to get there and um, meet the housing person and fill in the paperwork and then I can have a proper look at my new flat and I'll see if I can bring anything to put in there as well. 
to get this moving process started. So I'm really looking forward to that, but I think I'm going to try and perform minor surgery on myself this evening because uh, I don't really want to leave the piercing like that any longer. It's just going to make a worse and worse scar and might as well just bite the bullet and get it over with. So, goodbye for now. I'm skipping this step. I don't have local anaesthetic. So that should be the most uncomfortable bit. The advantage of using the lidocaine with adrenaline in it is that we don't get too much bleeding so we can see the, the field. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just gently trying to separate. trick is it's very easy to go in and make a nice big cut and just take the whole thing out quickly. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. If you do that you're actually going to leave it with more scarring. But I can feel the base plate underneath the skin. What I'm trying to right, do. Sir. There we are. It's yeah. just coming. Well done darling. Do you know there else? we are. Nearly out now. That was nearly out. There we are. one come out. Oh, so that's what it looks like. Okay. So that's the... Looks easy. Do you want to... souvenir um, that does look quite bad but it's really only a small cut and <laughs> it didn't really hurt <laughs> so yeah happy with that gotta go clean it up now good night <laughs>